Hey everybody, it's Dr. Cole. Today we're going to talk about a question that I get asked a lot, and that is what do I do when I'm eating out at a restaurant with my friends, with my family? When we're at a restaurant, I want to eat healthy, but I don't know what to do. And how can I stay on my program when I'm at a restaurant? What do I choose? So I get asked a lot, and so I'm going to clear the air, give you some simple tips to eat out and stay healthy. The first thing you're going to want to do when you're eating out is just to tell them to keep the bread basket away. It's going to sit right in front of you. It's going to tempt you, uh, but it can bring you no good. So just avoid the bread basket. Don't even go there because it really is going to not be a good start to a healthy time at the restaurant if you're going to have the bread basket sitting right in front of your face. The next thing you're going to want to remember when you're eating out is just remember that simple is better. Uh, just stick with a, a clean protein source and a vegetable source. Sure, the, the meat's probably not going to be the best source of meat and the vegetable's not going to be the best source of vegetable if you're eating at, a, at an average restaurant, but just pick simple choices. That's always going to be better than a more complicated choice when it comes to eating out. The next tip I have for you to stay healthy when you're eating out is something that a lot of my patients don't like to do, and that's going to be speaking up. If you see a side dish that that you can't have, let's say it's a, it's a bread or it's some sort of pasta and you don't want to have the, the, the grains that we know that aren't good for us, then I would speak up. Substitute it for a vegetable. Most restaurants don't mind and it, yes, it takes some courage to really, you don't want to offend anybody, but they're not going to be offended. Uh, people are used to having different dietary restrictions, so speak up for yourself. Do the right thing because ultimately you're going to be reaping the benefits of making the better choice. The next tip I have is really look for the gluten-free menus. A lot of restaurants have gluten-free menus now and sure, just because it says gluten-free doesn't mean that it's healthy, but you, you can avoid the, the exposure to gluten, you can ex avoid the exposure to uh, unwanted inflammation in your body by going with a gluten-free menu and picking a simple option from that menu. Tip number five to stay healthy when you're eating out is to look what your food is cooked in. It's going to take some courage again, but to ask what your what oil is your food cooked in. Ask for it to be cooked in butter. Ask for it to be cooked in something that can tolerate heat better because a lot of restaurants use really cheap industrialized oils like canola oil, vegetable oil that's really unhealthy, that causes inflammation and causes chronic disease. So go for organic butter, go for butter at, at the very least, maybe olive oil, foods that are and oils that are in restaurants but are commonly not used when it comes to preparing the meals um, as a general rule. So you're going to want to ask, speak up for yourself again, but ask what your food is cooked in. Tip number six to stay healthy when you're eating at a restaurant is avoid the salad dressings. These salad dressings typically are loaded with sugar, loaded with bad oils, loaded with preservatives. They are not healthy as a general rule. So ask for olive oil, ask, ask for oil and vinegar. And it tastes great and you know what you're getting, you know what's inside of it. So I would really go for olive oil and vinegar versus the salad dressing because that sounds so good but are not good for you. Tip number seven, I would say check the sauces that come with your food. A lot of them are filled with sugar and grains and there's flour inside of the sauces. So you're going to want to look what's in the sauce that your food comes with and ask for alternatives. Most restaurants don't mind if you substitute it for, with butter or garlic and herbs, olive oil. Ask for these choices because then you will be knowing what's in your food and you'll be making the healthy choice. Tip number eight, I would say support restaurants that give the public healthy options. Look, a lot of restaurants, even in smaller towns, have food choices that, ha that the foods come from local farms, they have organic options, they have gluten-free options, they have healthier options. Support them and show them that you stand with them as far as their choices and their menu by going and eating there. I hope that these tips help are helpful and I hope that when you go out to eat the next time that you really implement them and comment on the, the page or comment on the, the Facebook page and let me know if they're helpful and let me know if you have any tips that you use when you're trying to eat out and stay healthy. Go to drwillcole.com for more information to stay healthy and I'll see you soon.